Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about the Coach Swinger bag. So I got this bag about a year ago, and I feel like it's about enough time to do a review on it. As per usual, as with all my other bag reviews, I'm going to be doing a brief description of the bag. I'm going to be talking about the specs, the pros and cons, the wear and tear, and finally, I'm going to be doing a final overview at the end. I'm also going to be including mod shots, so if that's what you're after, then stay tuned. But before anything else, if you're new here, welcome, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If these are the kinds of videos that you like watching, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to connect with me in my socials, it's at TrishDLF. So this is the Coach Swinger bag. This is in the regular size. I believe it's in the size 22. It's in the sky blue color. I don't think it really has a name online for its specific color, but it's more of like a sky blue with a jacquard fabric print, glove tanned leather for the sides and on the lining, and it's also in gold hardware. So it comes with a short strap as so for like a shoulder bag effect, but it also does come with a long strap, which you can attach to make it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. So I had to mention the size. This like the regular size that they put out because they also have a smaller size which is the Swinger 20. So that one is I think up to here and it's a little bit smaller. This bag is part of the Coach Originals line which means that it's based in their 1980s designs. So this design is based from their archives back in 1980. They just pulled it out from their archives and they reimagined the design for it to fit more of today's time. So aside from this bag having a smaller size, it also comes in different variations of glove tanned leather and jacquard fabric. So for example, I have this blue one in the jacquard print but they also have different colors with the jacquard they have green they have red they have dark blue they have white they have brown so they have a bunch of different colors available in this style but they also have the regular glove tanned leather which means it's just a simple leather bag and it's just smooth leather all around the bag so I initially bought this bag last year because I really wanted to try out the shoulder bag trend I really like the Dior saddle look and I don't have any shoulder bags as you can see and if you've seen my past bag collections I don't really wear shoulder bags and because shoulder bags have started getting really popular the past two years I really wanted to try it especially because I really like the style of the Dior saddle and the Fendi baguette bag so before making a big purchase on a luxury bag I really wanted to try the style first if it's something that would fit me or if it's just a trend that I'm feeling FOMO about or it's something that really won't fit my lifestyle in the end so later on I'm gonna be talking about that if this coach swinger bag is actually the kind of bag for me but for now I'm going to be talking about the specifications first and everything about this bag as well as the pros and cons so as I mentioned earlier the material of this is just in the jacquard print with a glove tan leather all around and for the specifications I brought out my measuring tape over here so this one in CM is about 22 centimeters and I think that's why it's called the Swinger 22. I'm not sure if that's right. So the Swinger 20 is actually a little shorter so it'll be around here since it's the smaller size. But this is the 22 so it's all the way here. So that's for the length and then for the height from this middle portion all the way down it's at 13 cm. And then for the width over here, we'll just measure the base. The base is at around 7 cm. And then for the top zip, I just want to show you guys the top zip, like the opening, it is at 20. So the base is at 22, but the top opening is at 20 cm. And then you have the shoulder strap drop, which is at 20. So 20 cm for the shoulder strap drop. And for the long strap over here, I'll go and check later and I'll just put it down below. Okay, now what I like about this bag is this feature over here, which is like the lock enclosure. So this is just a little turn lock and it's for the pull tab, the zipper tab of the bag. So it's actually connected. There's like a turn lock over here that you have to turn before you can actually unzip it. So I feel like that's extra protection. I really like bags that are safe and so for me this is like an extra safe bag because as much as it's small and it's under your shoulder when you wear it and people really might not be able to get anything out of your bag either way since it's under your shoulder but it's just like a good security to have as well knowing that they have to turn this little lock first before they can actually get in 
your bag. Um, I guess it's more for the shoulder strap. Like if you wear this as a crossbody, since it's further down, it'll be harder for pickpockets to access your bag if it's worn crossbody because it's gonna be down there and it's sealed with this little lock over here. So that's one of the features that I really like about this bag. I also like how it's convertible. So the clasp over here, and I really like the clasps as well. Like they have really good hardware. They look very durable and of very good quality. So you can easily just remove that. You can carry it as a pouch like this, or you can put the shoulder strap on, or you can add in the long strap so you can wear it cross body. So the clasps swivel as well, so you won't have a hard time in attaching the bags and you don't really have to rotate the strap once it's on because it's a lobster clasp slash swivel clasp. So it's very easy to use and you can easily convert it to a crossbody bag as so, so this is what it looks like. And again, I will just add more shots. For the interior, this is just what the interior looks like and it's just a fabric interior and it just has this tag sewn in with like the coach details and everything like that. This one also has a number inside. I'm not sure if it's like a serial number or just like an item code number and then under it, it says limited edition. So that's basically all that's inside the bag. There's no pockets or anything else. It's just one big hole for all your stuff. For what fits inside, you can basically fit in a full mini pochette. So this more or less has everything I need already, like my card holder, cash, cards, coins, um, lipstick, uh, extra pen. So basically everything is in here already. And I just put it in there and this will fit, but it occupies majority of the space already. But you can also have your phone in this. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And then after that, there's pretty much no more space except for you can still add in your charger. So I'm just gonna roll this up so it fits well inside. So you just do have to squish it in because it's kind of full already. So there, more or less mini pochette, cell phone, and charger will fit inside. And if you don't carry a mini pochette, you can probably fit in like sunglasses or whatever. But yeah, that's basically everything that fits. For a quick day or night out, that's more or less what I bring either way. So I don't really have a problem just having those three things in my bag. But yeah, if you carry more stuff, then it might be hard for you to just have this bag. So I think those are more or less the pros of this bag. It's very versatile because you can wear it in three different ways as a pouch, as a shoulder bag, or as a crossbody. It's extra secure because it has that clasp over here for security. It fits enough stuff, but there's not really room for any extras. And basically, it's a cute bag. It's very, very trendy, and I think it looks really cute. But again, with all things, there will also be cons. And and now we're gonna go into the cons. Okay, so the number one con for me, and I feel like there's something that I realized having this as a bag, as a shoulder bag, is that I realized I'm probably not a shoulder bag girl, or I'm not like an underarm bag girl like this. I've always geared towards crossbody bags and like sling bags, but with this kind of bag where like it's literally under your arm, yeah, it's probably not for me because I realized that one thing I don't like about it is that I have to remove the bag before I'm able to actually get stuff inside. So I'm carrying it right, I'm carrying it under my shoulder because you can't open it like this. Like the drop length is too small for you to be able to open the bag like straight from your underarm and like just grab stuff inside. You really have to remove it and then that's when you get your belongings. Um, well, at least for my build, okay? I don't know if it's because I just have big arms, so let me know if you're like a skinnier person, but from here, I can't access my stuff, like, right away. Perhaps if you wear it as a crossbody bag with a longer strap, obviously, you can easily get your things, but I like this bag for the shoulder bag type look. That's the only style that I wear it in as a shoulder bag, so I find that it's kind of hard to access your things with this kind of bag. So that's one thing I realized with this bag is that I might not appreciate a DR saddle because if I don't like the idea of having to remove my bag and opening it before I'm able to get my stuff, then it's more or less the same kind of function with a DR saddle. So that's why I'm like, ah, okay, maybe not this. And I think the next con is the color. This is more of the color choice that I made because I got it in this like sky blue. Generally, I would still be able to pull off blues with my outfits because I wear a lot of white. Blue should also go well with black, but for some reason, 
This one, I can't, I don't wear it. Like, my white outfits, at least, they don't match this style. This is more of like a Y2K look, but I realized that in my wardrobe, my white clothes are more of like a very formal look. So they don't match. So this style doesn't match with my wardrobe. As much as I have a lot of white clothes, the styles don't mesh. That's why I'm having a hard time using this. And I honestly don't really get to use it much because of that reason. This is a very specific era of style. So the clothes that I have don't really match with this. Except for like crop tops. I only have a few top styles that go well with this kind of bag and color. So... Again, it's I think it's a color choice kind of thing. I, I mean, I have my peekaboo that's also in the same color, like the sky blue. I also have my Balenciaga that's also blue, and my Fendi peekaboo from before was also blue, and I was able to use them. So I think it's really the style of the bag. It's both the style and the color that don't really match with my wardrobe. But if you're planning to get this in like the plain leather version or in a different color, I would suggest that get a neutral color, so maybe the black, the white, they would go well with most outfits generally most outfits or if you're planning to get something with color make sure that it's a good neutral for your wardrobe so make sure that it matches your wardrobe because for this one I didn't really think it through this is a very young bag it's a very youthful bag and my clothes are more of like they're more of like a formal or like semi-formal look so yeah they just didn't mesh and then for the last con I would say that it's the jacquard fabric so definitely you can't bring this out to like barbecues k barbecues you can't bring it out to smoky areas. If you go clubbing and people are allowed to smoke inside the club, once you get out, your bag will most probably smell like cigarettes because it's fabric. Those kinds of specific smell really attract fabric. Thankfully, I have not used this in those places, so there's no scent to it. But for sure, like if it's your lucky day and you end up in a club or at a K barbecue wearing this bag, then yeah, say goodbye to the smell because for sure, like, it will stay on the fabric. And I feel like this goes for majority, or if not all, of fabric or canvas bags. Like, just don't bring it in any place with smoky areas where you know that the scent will really stay on the bag. So that's a con because it also chooses places that it can go to. Ah, I forget that also because since it's in fabric, you have to be careful of stains. So... Yeah, if you bring this out to eat where like there's ketchup, soy sauce, it'll be very hard to remove once ketchup or soy sauce goes on there because it is in fabric. So you have to be extra careful when it comes to these kinds of things. Now for the wear and tear, I've had it for a year and honestly I've worn this like thrice, maybe four times max. Um, so obviously like there's not really going to be any wear and tear. Honestly this like new. Yeah, I only wore this for like one night out and then I took pictures with it. And yeah, I didn't even really use it, use it. So honestly, like wear and tear right now is close to none. But I noticed that a wear and tear that you will definitely have in the future is like pilling on the jacquard fabric. I see a very, very, very little of it right now. Like just very, very small, you know, the tiny, tiny fibers of the fabric, like I foresee that in time with you, if you like really use this bag up, like it will have a lot of fibers like already starting to pill. So that's something that you have to be wary of. I think that's inevitable. I think with use, um, fabric bags really tend to develop that kind of pilling. So I think that's something that you just have to deal with eventually because that's really going to happen. Unless you don't really plan to use the bag, then it's fine. But if it's something that you plan to hold on to for a long time, then definitely it will develop billing one way or another. So I think that's about it for this bag. I'm thankful that I tried on this bag first before biting the bullet on a Dior saddle bag because that would have been a very expensive lesson. Imagine spending all that money on a Dior saddle and realizing that the bag is not for you. And I see a lot of reviews on it as well that it basically fits nothing. So I think I would have been sorta of annoyed with that, especially because it's thinner. The Dior saddle is like, like this. It's like one straight compartment, whereas this, at least, like it gets bigger towards the end. Honestly though, my full review for this is it's a very young bag. It's 
if you are 25 years old and below, I think this bag would be really good for you. If I were 25 years old and below and I were still rocking that Gen Z vibe, I think I would really love this bag and I would use it a lot because I would be in that stage where I'm just partying, I'm chilling with friends. But now like all I do is go to the gym. All I do is like my MCM backpack though. That's the only bag I've been using lately. But I gotta say it's a really really good gym bag. So yeah, I just go to the gym these days. So this is not for my lifestyle anymore. And also I think the color contributes to it. Again, if you get a different color, it might be something that would be better for your wardrobe. So I think if you're looking into getting this bag, definitely get a neutral color. And if you want like a colorful one, make sure that it matches your wardrobe and style. And I say style because this really doesn't match everything. I'm telling you, especially if you're a different body size. Like for me, I feel like it still fits well on my size but if you're I feel like if you're bigger than me it might look really weird like the proportions would look weird you can see in the mod shots it like just a little bigger and I feel like I wouldn't be able to pull this off anymore but if you're smaller then I think it's a great look for this bag this is a bag that my younger self would definitely love and use but right now, um, no, it's not for me anymore. So I think I have to say goodbye to this bag very soon. It's so sad that I've only had her for a year and I barely even used her. And it's not because it's not a luxury designer bag, because I have contemporary designer bags that I use a lot, like my MCM, my Wandler bag. So for me, I really think that it's the style of the bag. So yeah, um, I will be saying goodbye to her pretty soon, but she served me well for a while. I try. I really tried to make her work, you know? Like, I tried using her out a few times. And I kept her for as long as I could because I really thought that I could make it work. But right now, I think this, my video, officially saying that, no, this is not the bag for me. It was a good run, but she might be going on my carousel very soon. So if you're looking for this bag, pop by my carousel sometime. It might already be uploaded there. I might have already uploaded it by the time you watch this video. And I'll be giving it for a really good price, unused. Like, three times, four times max used. So yeah, if you're interested, just pop by my carousel. I'll put the link down below. So that's it. That's everything about the Coach Swinger bag. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button down below to help the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to connect with me in my socials, it's at TrishDLF. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you could. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!